Good afternoon, this is wildlife biologist Eric Orff with the New Hampshire Fish and Wildlife YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Be sure to like and uh, subscribe to my channel please. Plus I'm going to talk about New Hampshire's goose hunters, hunters, but particular goose hunters. So September 1st, Sunday began the goose season in New Hampshire. So you might see, uh, in fact I talked to uh, the New Hampshire Fish and Game uh, wildlife biologist and actually uh, waterfowl biologist Jessica Garloni this last week, this week, and she said there are only about 1,600 goose hunters in all of New Hampshire. So on the, all over the state you may run across a, a, a maximum of one or two goose hunters wherever you happen to be. And this time of year they're more typically hunting in fields. Uh, when the corn is cut, they're cut corn fields or uh, hay fields, grass fields, Things like that. So uh, yes, you may see some goose hunters around and uh, in recent years they have killed during the early September season, which started September 1st, about a thousand geese out of the population of upwards of 40,000. So in an attempt to control goose numbers, there is an early resident goose season. These are birds that live much of their life in urban and suburban areas. Uh, they migrate only far south as they need to to find food in the winter time and many of them overwinter right here in New Hampshire so uh, it is goose season in New Hampshire so if you see a truck or a car parked in a farmer's field and someone happens to be getting out with a shotgun so this is a shotgun that I use for duck and goose hunting it's a 12 gauge shotgun it is very commonly used in fact if you're going to hunt ducks or geese or certain other birds, the maximum you can have is three shotgun shells in your gun. Only three can you have in your gun, so you are very much limited to the number of shots you can take. And by the way, I said shotgun shells. They are not bullets. They are shotgun shells, just to give you some edification. So the, shot, the uh, goose season will last the most of the month of September, and then, uh, and then it will start again in October when about 5,000 geese are killed during the October through December season. So the early season, again, the total number of goose hunters in New Hampshire is only about 1,600. So you're not going to see vehicles parked all over. But uh, in about a week, uh, mid-September, September 15th, begins the archery deer hunting season in New Hampshire. Now you will see many more people dressed in camouflage for the archery deer hunting season to get close enough with a bow and arrow to kill a deer, to place a, a, a killing shot, you got to be close. So folks will be camouflaged, they're going to be parking in the dark in the morning to get to their tree stands to, uh, to wait for a deer to come in, or late in the afternoon typically, uh, that you'll see people getting out of their vehicles in camouflage with, with a bow and arrow. So yes, hunting seasons are, on the, are underway. Uh, and shotguns are also used in the southern third of New Hampshire during the fall November deer season. So not yet. So they will see way more hunters during the, the second Wednesday of November through the month of November into December uh, during the uh, fall regular firearm season. But in the southern third of the state, the more urban areas, in fact, you must hunt only with a shotgun in most of those towns. So. Uh, Yes, you're going to see people dressed in camouflage, getting out of their vehicles early in the morning and late in the afternoon over the coming weeks. They are goose hunters. There will be archery deer hunters beginning September 15th. So yes, the hunters are out in the woods. Hunting is a very safe sport. Uh, and as a resident, you should not be afraid of these. It's a, it's a long-held tradition in New Hampshire of hunting our deer and, and turkeys and uh, uh, geese. So uh, yeah, the hunters are out there. You may spot one and uh, give them a wave. You know, they are funding the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department. Uh, almost all the funding comes from license sales, hunting and fishing, and that's what supports the Fish and Game Department, who do so many other things besides uh, monitoring the animals that are hunted or fished. And, uh, and the other thing I'd like to say is another shout out to the landowners who will allow us hunters and fishermen in New Hampshire to use your land. Thank you very much, and to all you hunters out there, Good luck.